In the demonstration, I'm going to take you through some of Afforza's key capabilities, including key account management, retail execution, and joint business planning. And I'm going to show you how you can use those capabilities to build the best relationship with your customers that you can and go to market in a joint way that helps you achieve those five key points that we were talking about earlier. So we're starting the demonstration today, logged in as a key account manager called Sophie. And Sophie is managing and looking after one of her largest accounts today, the Fresh Start Shop group. And there's various different outlets that are in this group. And she's really focused on the Southeast outlet today and really trying to narrow in and hone in on how we can improve the Southeast area for this Fresh Start Shop. So immediately when she comes onto her account page, she can see this overview, which gives her all the high level details that she needs to know at a glance when she's talking and building relationships with this customer. So she can see based on the audits we've done in the store and based on external data that we've taken in, we can see our share of shelf. We can see if there's a competitive threat that impacts us within that outlet or group of outlets. We can see the revenue target, again, either at a group level or a regional or territory based level. And then we can see the overall promotion compliance that we're seeing from these groups of outlets based on our field team going in and doing compliance audits. If I scroll down a little, Sophie can see all of the different products and assets and assortments that we're selling within that individual outlet or within that group of outlets. She can see compliance against promotional criteria. She can see the status, the stock levels, the, the shelf price. Really, we're tracking any sort of information that is either pulled in from external data or that I've gathered from my field teams as well. So this immediately gives me a really good view of what's going on. We can see our revenue targets okay. Promotion compliance is not as great as it should be. Uh, and we've got a high competitor threat in the store. I can also then move on to all these other tabs, which gives me much more detailed information about this account. So on my sell in and sell out tab, I can see all of our revenue and financial information, again, that we are either selling into the account via our order capture, or when the account is selling out to our consumers, we can see that information in here as well. So in here, I can see our overall financial effectiveness, which is based on some metrics we're tracking. I can see what we're planning to do at this account, what we've managed to do via sell in and what we're getting in sell out. And then we can scroll down and we can see actually the revenue breakdown per product SKU or brand, the volume by a uh, different category. And we can see on here actually that the, uh, the ice cream products that we're selling, the SKUs that we're selling are not doing fantastic um, sell out um, revenue or volume um, at these particular outlets. So that's one data point we want to keep in mind when we're talking to the customer going forward. So along with these high level metrics, we also of course have the really granular detail that we can get to about this customer, where it's located, shipping, billing information, policies, outlet information, financial details. All of this is here if we really need to get into the detail. And along with that, we've got the related information. See, so these are all the contacts that might be working there the different locations or premise at a specific outlet, the orders that they've placed either through EDI or from telesales, contracts we've got in place with them, payment methods, invoices, absolutely anything you need to get that full 360 degree view of the customer. So having all of this information along with the sell in and sell out data in the overview really that helps you understand the retailer's eco economics as well as your own. And this is what you're gonna to use to really go to market with them in an effective strategy. So along with the account 360 and all of those uh, financial details, we also have our hierarchy. This lets us keep track of how we're dealing with the overall nationwide chain. So you might be dealing with uh, a region as we are now or a specific outlet. You might be dealing with it at group level or country level. Really, it's up to you how you go to market and how you want to engage with this customer um, when you're doing your joint business planning. But this helps you really easily visualize that and you can map out really sophisticated hierarchies. So again, that you are know you are being effective on the correct level of that customer account. We also have our segmentation capability, and this is really important because this helps us go to market and differentiate um, with your customer based on metrics or targets they have. So for instance, we can see um, details 
about this customer that we've captured, like how compliant they are with promotions and how their um, relationship is with us. But then also we can see target metrics that the customer might have. So for instance, the demographic that they're targeting, um, footfall targets that they want to meet. So do they want to have um, a larger footfall for this year based on uh, displays and promotions that they've got in store? We can see specifications about the shop, competitors that are in there, geographical information, facilities they have, really any information you want to capture about the outlet from a customer's perspective or from a company perspective can be captured here. And this is really important because this really helps us define how we go to market with this customer and how we meet those targets and objectives. So the last two items I want to show you on this key account management view are firstly the promotions. And the promotions is where I can see all the marketing campaigns or promotions we're going to market with that customer. So these are jointly agreed uh, business strategies that we've decided to start running. And we can see all of the current ones that are available and being run at that outlet or the region or the nationwide level. And this isn't a static list. This can change based on the criteria that your customer is setting. So if I go back to the segment and I change something on here, so let's say we recognize that there are VIPs. So we actually need to spend a lot more time with this customer because of uh, some criteria. We can mark them as a VIP. It gets added into the relationship uh, status here. And back on the promotions, if I refresh this, I can now see that we have a number of new promotional activities and campaigns available for this account. So we can see they're now eligible for these VIP promotions, including this frozen goods promotion. And this might be just the thing that helps us improve our revenue against the frozen goods that we know we're not doing too well based on that sell in and sell out data we're looking at. And then the last tab I want to show you here is our documents, our digital assets. This is where you collate and contain all of the different material uh, and digital content that you might need when dealing with this customer. So this could be uh, data they have given you, whether it's sell the sellout data or whether it's Nielsen data you've collected, um, deduction management data. This could be where you store your, your contracts, your joint business planning agreements. This could be where you see your compliance photos from visits, so perhaps there are empty fridges and empty shelves when there shouldn't be, and your field team has captured those. That could be stored back here against the account, um, which can be used for your deduction management, your claim management. And then it could also be used for measuring, um, capturing business metrics that you want to keep an eye on and you want to have a snapshot of. So this is all here and available, and no matter what channel you're on, whether you're in the field or whether um, it's your customer engaging with us through the commerce and self service portal, this information is available uh, where and when you need it. And nowhere is this more important than with joint business planning. Being able to properly collaborate and share your documents and your objectives with your customers is extremely important when you're trying to plan out an effective strategy. Through digital asset management, you can preview these digital joint business plans that you've created with your customers. And using a Forza's joint business planning, which I'll show you in a little bit, you can map out objectives and goals that you want to achieve with your customer base. So that was a very high level overview of the different capabilities here on the account page, whether that's looking at an overview, looking at the financial details or managing the, the segment and the promotions you're running. But how do you go about actually collaborating and planning with your customer? That's where our joint business planning capability comes in. And I'm going to swap over here to our plan tab, which helps me plan and manage the objectives and the targets for this specific chain. So here I am on my joint business planning dashboard, and I can see I've got a number of options available to me. Right now I'm on my overall business objectives tab, and this is where I can see how we're um, actually performing against the targets we've set as a, um, a joint business plan whether that is revenue targets, in-person visits, increasing volume sold, running new promotions, we can monitor it all here. But then when we're coming up with these objectives, we can also see the other tabs that give us the information we need. So we have a promotions tab, and this is where we can see how our joint marketing initiatives are actually performing. You know, how are those promotions um, generating revenue for us? Are we actually hitting against our predicted revenue targets? 
based on those, those metrics we've set together. We can see how individual SKUs are performing. So this is really an extrapolation of that, that sell in and sell out data. And again, we can see in here that our frozen foods, while doing okay, they're not performing as well as our beer, wine, and spirits category. So we'd expect this 11K to be a lot higher. We also have the ability to look at our budgets to see, you know, do we have any budget to run any additional promotions or marketing campaigns? And then inventory levels. So when we're actually doing our sell uh, into the customer, we need to make sure we've got the right inventory to supply the orders that they're placing. So this is where we actually monitor and manage those metrics. And if I want to actually collaborate with a customer, it's extremely easy. So we have our own collaboration capability, which lets us go back and forth with our customer. Um, they get a view very similar to this, and we can start discussing these plans, discussing these targets, and making sure we're really aligned. And um, also importantly, that as we're going to market, and as we're trying to hit these targets, we're able to make real-time adjustments. So we can see a number of conversations that have been started here. Uh, we can see one that we started earlier, which is around um, our volumes not being as good as they should be. Uh, we're not hitting our targets in certain regions. And then we can see the customer collaborating with us, asking for more in, more in-store support uh, to come and help actually manage the planograms, manage the shelf placements, and really help um, push the pro our brands as much as we should be within the store. So let's say I wanted to go in and actually um, add a new um, conversation on here, what I can do is I can go and click on the individual metric that I'm worried about. I can click annotate and this lets me post a brand new message to the team. So I can go and post a message about our revenue figures not quite hitting the targets they should be and share that. So it now looks like you know revenue is not going to hit our target um, and I can mention that new VIP promotion that we've just enabled for them. So we can start leveraging that new promotion to try and push those frozen foods and to try and get that revenue target up to where it should be. So obviously the customer will get a notification, they'll be able to see this, and then they can start discussing the possibility of running this in the store. And this is where really our order capture and our, our sell-in capability comes into play. So up here on the top, we can see our sell tab. And this is an order that was placed via an EDI integration so the customer's already placed this order. Again, it might be done at the nationwide level, it could be done at a regional level, but this order's come into the system and we can see that it's quite a large order. We can see all the products that they're looking to purchase um, that we're gonna sell in and they're gonna then restock and use. And we can see they're using their, their nationwide discounts that they're getting. Uh, we can see some of the commercial policies and um, pricing and volume-based discounts that they're getting automatically. And we can see it's a pretty um, full, cart full of items, so it's looking pretty good. But based on that conversation I just had with the customer, perhaps we wanna try and sell this new VIP promotion in. And if they're happy, we can actually modify this order and we can upsell to help them push their revenue. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this promotion to add it to the shopping cart. And this is that special VIP promotion where they get a freezer um, to display some more marketing material. And this is really gonna help uh, push that ice cream and it's also going to allow them to do a 50% discount on the ice cream again to increase that revenue um, substantially. So I can go in and um, while talking to the customer I can position some flavors that we think might be appropriate and then once we're happy with this configuration we can actually go ahead and just you know increase the quantity of this promotion significantly and add it to the cart. And now what's that what that has done is added the promotion to the cart. Um, it's added all of the compliance. It's added all of the metrics we need to track uh, to that customer's dashboard. And now when that delivery is placed via the distributor, then the correct promotional material and the correct promotional products are gonna be given to that region so that they can go to market effectively and hopefully increase that revenue. So that was a really high level overview now of our key account management with some joint business planning and then how we can actually modify orders and um, take new orders into the system and you know upsell based on promotional material. Now I want to swap over and give you a view of field teams and how they can actually go in and help support a store, help monitor that store and then also help to make sure that the promotions we are selling to them are actually being um, adhered to and they're fully compliant. So let me swap over to the mobile app now and I'll show you that experience.
So here we are in the Forza field execution and merchandising application. The application is 100% offline. It runs on tablets and phones on both Android and iOS. And I'm logged in as a, uh, a field user and I'm about to go and visit this Fresh Start Shop Southeast that we've just been talking to and joint business planning with. And when I use the application, I can see all that same information that I had access to in the web view, in the HQ view. So I can see here all the details about this customer, where they're located, all of the contact information. I can see those same attributes in the segment details. So their compliance rating, the relationship, including that new VIP tag that got added recently. And I can tweak and tune these while I'm on site with the customer as well. Along with that, we've got our resources, our documents. So this is where we can see all those different documents we need to have available to us as a field rep. And we can see obviously the most critical one here is that joint business plan. And just like I could in the HQ view, I can look at that same business plan and have access to that directly on the mobile device while offline. And this is great for when you're in a store and you're talking through the shared objectives with your customer and you wanna discuss them in detail and have a visual aid to make sure that you're both aligning to that strategy. And then finally, we've got notes. And the notes is where we can start to see information that's come from HQ about what we need to do to support this customer, whether it's helping them organize their shelves, whether it is checking the new VIP promotion that we've just sold them is being complied with. So I can review all this information before I actually visit. And then when I get to the store, I can simply click visit now. And this is going to take me to the visit overview page. And this is where I can see all the different tasks that I need to do or I might want to carry out as part of my visit with this customer. So I can see right at the top of the list, we have that check promotion compliance. We also need to survey the competitor offerings because we know there's a high competitive threat there. And we need to make sure that it's not directly impacting the, uh, the revenue that we should be generating. And then we could review merchandise. We could even capture an order if we needed to. But what we're gonna do is focus on the merchandiser and the, the auditing capabilities here. And we wanna make sure that this customer is getting the best value from the promotions that we're putting in front of them and that they're complying with the stipulations that we've laid out as part of the joint business plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start by uh, checking promotion compliance. I'm gonna do task one. And when I click that, it's gonna ask me for some basic details. And then I can go ahead and just start that audit. And when I'm doing the promotion compliance audit, I have all, of the, all of the different products and assets that we know are being promoted in this particular outlet. So we can then quickly pick and choose uh, and update each of these. So I can go through and I can check if the uh, compliance, um, if the, the product is being complied with, if it's in the correct location, if it's fully compliant, if it's missing, I can choose the location that they've actually set up these promotions in the shop. I can make sure that they're discounted so I can check those off. I can enter the shelf price. And as we scroll down, we can see that VIP promotion that we just recently uh, sold them and uh, we can go and we can make sure yes it's fully compliant all of these products are being discounted correctly the shelf price is correct um, we can even go ahead and add photographs to each of these to make sure that um, everything is as it should be and as we're going through we can check these off the list of course we can add photos like I mentioned before so if I go to photos and I click add photo I can choose one uh, from the gallery or I can take one using my phone and for instance, if we see there's an empty fridge there, we can capture that photo. And now that's there and part of the compliance material that gets uploaded against that account and against that particular compliance audit. Once we're happy with that, we can click confirm, we can submit the audit and it now gets checked off the list. So that's one task done and all that information is pushed immediately back against that key account management view. So we can see whether they're being compliant and we can get notifications and alerts when something is not as it should be. And of course, we can also do things like survey competitor offerings. So we want more of a Q&A based approach to capturing information. I go through here and complete a survey. All of this is completely configurable. So um, the correct surveys are displayed to your field users for the correct accounts. So I can go and I can select what competitors are being sold in that store. Um, you know, what are the products they're displaying or where they've been displayed? How effective is their marketing? And then 
you know, how are the customers responding to our competitors? Are they actually excited by their products or do they seem to just be passing over them in favor of our stuff? And then we can start organizing um, and ranking items as well. And again, once we're done, we can complete the survey and that gets checked off the list. So this is just a really quick overview of how you can actually go in with the mobile application and you can make sure that when you're with your customers, you're engaged with them, you're collecting the right information and we're directing your field teams really effectively and really efficiently. So in this demonstration, we've gone through those five key points. So we've shown you how you can really understand your retailer's economics as well as your own, looking through the sell-in data, the sell-out data, and making sure that all that information is aligned and that we can use that to, and leverage that to build out the best strategy possible for your promotions and your, your campaigns that you're running. We've looked at how you can actually different your, differentiate your joint business plan. So how do I align that business plan with your retailer strategy using our segmentation, our attributes to make sure we're targeting their metrics and what they're looking to do correctly and doing it in a dynamic way. So if something changes, you're able to respond to that and be a really effective partner with your retailer. And then I've shown you how you can have teams on the ground using the mobile application to really effectively um, take that strategy that was planned at HQ and just run with it when you're in the store, whether that is checking promotion compliance, whether it's helping your, um, your retailer through you know, new merchandise and through planogram management. Um, and I've also shown you how you can collaborate either by being in the field and talking to the customer or by using our collaboration capabilities when you're doing your joint business planning um, through HQ. And of course, all of this comes back to the insights so as we go into the store, as we collect information, whether it's from sellout data or whether it is from the, the field teams, all of that information goes back into our insights capability. So you get real time analytics that help you make these decisions on the fly and help you build that, that best in class relationship you have with your retailer and go to market much, much more effectively.